Welcome to step one of Jolly and Doug's pyjamas. Exactly the same pattern, just a change of fabrics. So uh, whether you're doing Dolly or Doug, you'll have the same sort of things to follow here. Now, first off, we're going to start off with, all the upside down, the collar pieces. So we're going to take our collar pieces and just take one pair and turn them right sides together. And what we're going to do ba, 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 is we are going to sew the curved edge around this little tip here down to the bottom. Uh, and I can't remember whether we go across the front or not. So let me just refresh my memory. It's been a long time since I made this one. Yep, we're going across the short bit. So... The only bit you don't want to sew is this long bit here and you don't want to sew this long bit here or this short straight bit here. So we're going to do them on both. So start with your needle down in your work. And we're just using a straight stitch and we're just going around the corner. I'm actually just manually advancing mine to make sure I get that curve, ah, happy curve. Right, and then we're going to pivot and come down that side. And then come down the straight side. And then we're going to pivot again. I'm going to join that bit up there. Just a little, one or two back stitches. So, ah, oh, drat, still lost my little baby scissors. I should find them so there we go so that's that piece sewn repeat for the other part oh I found them oh, on the floor just exactly where you'd expect them to be for me isn't it so just nip into that one so that it can break free and then on this one this corner take the edges off there we go and then this corner, cut a little section out, like so. That's so that when you fold it inside out, or right way out in fact, uh, this part of material that we've removed would bunch up and actually stop you having a nice flat corner. And then this curve, what I like to do is get my pinking shears and just take out the excess fabric. Uh, and again, this is like cutting notches in so that you can uh, bend the fabric around the corner. And then what we're going to do is, that is the dog trying to get into my workroom. What we're going to do is just turn them the right way out. Try and make all of these little corners nice and sharp. Oh, it's beautiful work. And including that one. Come on, little miss, out you come. There we go. And then push the curve away. Right, now do you see how mine is not sitting very flat there? That's because I haven't gone near enough to my stitch line. Right, do you see that tiny little bit of fabric there? There's the stitching and there's this bit of fabric. I've got to get in there. Another little snip. And then hey presto, that will behave so it's just the little difference that little snip makes so if you find you're not as tidy as you think you are try looking for that right so we do the other side as well and then put them to one side and then what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the waistband casing so this is for the pajama bottoms and what we're going to do is very simply we're going to join the two, you've got two casing parts, 
we're going to put them right sides together and we're going to make them into a loop by sewing those two short ends together down there and then at the other end da -da -da -da, we'll sew those two together so that will actually form a loop so take a one centimeter one centimeter seam allowance just like so tidy up as we go threads in the bin if you've got animals small children or the wheels of your sewing machine you'll thank me all places that you don't want threads to get knotted up in and then the other side all right and again just gonna trim those up Brilliant. So what we've done now, actually, is we've made a hoop. Do you see? So we've made a hoop. So what we want to do, actually, is fold... Oh, sorry. First of all, we'll press these seams open here so that they lie flat. Okay, that's an important part of the process. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this loop and we're going to decrease the width by half by folding it raw sides together. So literally, just like that. And give that a press with your iron and then we're going to set that one aside for later. Mm -hmm. 